Today we are going to solve a CTF challenge known as SP Eric. So if you don't know what CTF challenge is, don't worry. Just stick with me and you will get it. CTF challenge means capture the flag and in CTF challenge you will be given a vulnerable machine and you have to gain access to that system by exploiting those vulnerabilities and have to find the flag hidden it somewhere inside that machine so a flag is just a proof that you actually hacked into that system so with no further delay let's jump into our first ctf our goal is to get these two flags to complete the challenge one located inside the root directory and the other one inside the home directory. So I have downloaded the vulnerable virtual machine and it's already up and running here. So first we will scan our virtual network to get the IP of the target machine. We got two IP addresses. Let's scan them with Nmap to find open ports on that machine. The first IP is down and that's not what we are looking for. Let's scan the other one. As we can see that port 22 and port 80 are open. Also we have discovered the .git directory here. Let's open this IP in browser as something is running on port 80. We see a message blog under construction. This seems to be our dead end here. Let's try another approach. Now I am using derby tool for finding any directory on that server. As you can see, we got an admin.php, index.php and directory named upload. We will try to discover all these to enumerate as much as we can. Mm -hmm. Nothing here. Nothing here as well. Hmm, we got an admin login page. By seeing this form, the first thing that came to my mind was the SQL injection. Let's try that. Hmm. Wrong password, don't even bother brute forcing. Okay, let's took the advice of the author and figure out some another way. Back to the nmap scan. Remember we found a git repository? Let's find out what inside that. But for this we have to clone it first and as it's not a regular git repo, we are using git tools to clone it. First run the git dumper to dump the git repository. Now that we have successfully dumped the git files and it's time to use the extractor tool. Extractor tool will create the directories based on the commits. As you can see, three directories are created. Let's jump into them one by one. There are two files, one is standard git metadata file and the other one seems to be useful. Let's check what's inside them. Nah, nothing useful, just a html page that we saw earlier. Let's jump back to the next directory. Hmm, there's another file admin.php. Let's check inside that. It's a source code for admin panel and as you can see username and passwords are hard coded. That's a really really bad practice and I never advise to do that in real world applications. But as we know it's a CTF challenge and it's intentionally made like that to make it vulnerable. Let's try this username and password. And we still got wrong password message. Let's check the last commit folder. Maybe password was changed in the next commit. And we are right, it's changed. Let's try this one. And we are in. So there are some text fields and a upload option. Maybe we can use that to upload some malicious file. Let's download php reverse shell and make sure to change the IP and port inside the PHP River shell before upload. Now let's upload this PHP River shell. So in order to execute that script, we have to hit a request to it. Now let's start listener on the same port you set in the PHP River shell. We got the sessions, now let's open bash so that we can execute commands on that machine. Now we are in the system, let's capture our first flag, which is inside home directory. So this is the first flag, now what's about the second flag? 
as it is inside the root directory and we are not root and do not have permissions to access that file. Now this step is called privilege escalation as we are escalating our privileges from standard user to root user. As you can see that backup.sh file has all the permission required and it run as root also. So we have to target the backup.sh file to get the root shell on the target machine. Let's create a msf venom script to exploit the target machine. I am using the reverse bash payload to create this script. Now copy the script and insert it into the backup.sh file. Start the listener and execute the file. Now we got the session. Again get the proper shell. And now we are logged in as root user. Let's get the final flag. And here it is. So guys if you learned something new from this video and want me to create more videos like this make sure to drop a like on this video and if you are new don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay crazy meet you in the next video.